like I said, there is literally a war going with things that are happening. Sometimes our own homes become battlefields. Yeah. Because it has more become the field of right and wrong. Mm. About education, there was a time when we were not so educated. Not all of us went to school. But people still were educated, they had. Today, many of us are pursuing master degrees and PhDs. Our uh, IQs have gone up. Mm. But at the same time, when we have to deal with our family, sometimes between generations, between parents and children, we say, oh, mum and dad cannot understand our point of view. Mm. Most often, youngsters say, that time has changed. Mm. <laughs> it is no longer that time. Why don't you understand? Yeah. This is the reason why we have to fight with you every day. <laughs> the younger generation has a different IQ. Probably the older generation does not have it. Mm. Those parents are also educated. Sometimes they are at very good positions also. But sometimes what happens that their ego comes in between. And this battle in the homes are mostly between the egos of different personalities, whether it is the child and the father. And they hold on to it. They don't want to give up their point of view. They feel as if, no, they are elder, they are correct. And the younger feel, oh, we live in this generation, we know, we understand what is happening in the world. So, they stick to their view, they stick to it, and they are not able to see. Sometimes, in fact, sometimes I would say, they are both fighting for the same thing. <laughs> True. One is going differently and the other one is, but actually they are both fighting for the same thing. The goal is the same, same yeah. the end result is the same. Mm. So, it is just because of ego. And it is not that the elders are not educated, they are quite experienced. So, on the basis of their experience, their IQ has been developed and the younger people's IQ has been developed on the basis of education literacy. So, their view of observing things is from on the basis of what um, education tells them or education has taught them and their viewpoint is on the basis of their experiences. So, this is where sometimes we need to develop that synergy. Mm -hmm. And I think in that case, even the elders also, if they give up their ego, then the youngsters will also give up their ego. But if they do not want to change, then this people also does not want to change. So, it is better if we come into, and that is where actually the mother's roles are to develop this synergy between the father and the son, between the husband and the son. And if she is able to do that, many families which are breaking up today can be saved. And in order to play that role, the mother has to adapt the spiritual angle because only with the spiritual angle, she will be able to unite both of them she will be able to understand both of them. Otherwise, the son would also say, oh, you are going to take his side, I know. <laughs> and if she takes the side of the child, the husband would say, I know you are going to take her, his side only. Hmm. She has to deal with both the personalities and at the same time, understand both of them and create this synergy and make them understand that they are both actually saying the same thing in different language. Mm. 